Welcome back, everybody. Now, Dando Rapatla, Laurie Strauss and Sharon Wegner have teamed up in a new musical, The Dress Code, which is showing at the theatre on the square in Senton this May. This show is all about clothes, fashion, and how we wear the clothes that make us, break us, or even fake us. Producers of this production, Laurie Strauss and Sharon Wagner, join us now to chat about the show and why it's set to be this season's hottest trend. Ladies, good morning. Welcome. Good morning, good morning. and thank you for having us. Yeah. How are you doing? Very good. good it's a little bit show. early. We're the stars I know, that come right? out at Especially night. on a yes. Saturday morning. Yeah, 100%, Gosh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you're here. Yes, no, we're happy we're to so be here. We're so happy to be here. But as you can see, we didn't get the dress code. Well, we kind of did. Sharon's in her athleisure. I'm, okay. athleisure. I'm in my sequence. I have to show you. But at least you it. did. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you but did. But we're not coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the dress code's so important, yes, you see. Yes, yes. No, it's okay. It's okay. You are forgiven. Yes, thank you. You are forgiven. All right, Laura, I'm going to start with you. Where did this idea come from of um, this show? So I have always been obsessed with clothes, fashion, sequins. So I brought the idea to Sharon and I said, I want to write a play about clothes. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, people sort of see clothes as something that's frivolous and worn by housewives and um, people who aren't smart and intelligent. But I feel clothes <laughs> yes. really do tell the world a story about who you are. Yeah. So that's what we're exploring in okay. our show. Yeah. Just paint a picture of us, Sharon, if you can. How are you going to tell a story uh, for the world to know about, about clothes? clothes? Like, how is it going to be? Well, like Laurie said, everyone thinks it's just material that we sort of wear. But we really went into the curiosity about why we wear these things and what these things tell people about us and how mm -hmm. we feel about each other in relationships. So we, we kind of went into different kinds of scenes and, and really had a lot of fun, you know, made some fun about how people get dressed and what they do and what they shouldn't do. We even have a, a moment when Dumbo comes out and, and we look at the audience, we put the house lights up and we go, what are you wearing? And we check everyone out. And Because this is what we do. We wear things and, and these things give, give you a hint of who okay. we are, or where we're at in our lives. Okay. So, so it's going to be uh, in a fashion show set up? Is well, there going to be a ramp? We've got a lovely tea where we, we, have a we cat come walk. on. We do have a catwalk. Okay. And, and we do dress rooms on stage yes. uh -huh. and we change what like nine times yes. or ten times we have nine wow. costume yeah. changes wow. yes we wow. have nine um, and about changes. 12 songs we yes sing. We, we sing songs that uh, sort of like complement our stories about uh -huh. why we wear clothes and how they make us feel and and you know it's sort of the point is that the audience watches and and thinks next time what does it feel like uh, why am i wearing this why do i does it make me feel right. good does it make me right, feel confident right. does it give, give people the right message and you know, as artists, so it's basically a feel-good musical. Definitely, it's a it's a night of entertainment, a whole lot of fun and music, and we just have a great time and have a good laugh. Yeah, and a lot of comedy. You know, yeah. we really um, like poke it. fun at yes. ourselves and the clothes we wear, yes. and mm -hmm. um, we mm -hmm. talk about fast fashion and we talk about aging and how you change what you wear with age. Yes, yes. So. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of music will be featuring this Oh, production? lots of pop music. Mostly oh, like a pop? quite an eclectic mix of yeah. pop okay. music. Yeah. We've got Clifford Cooper on keys and we sing ballads and up-tempo stuff. I mean, we actually have a, a thing where we wear our heels. We try to dance in heels. I mean, she manages to because look at her heels today. <laughs> Jeez, but, man. Um, so we're just having a... And I always wondered how, how you guys do that. How do girls wear heels? <laughs> I mean, heels skill. like this. It's a skill. It is a skill. Mental oh, it's a skill that you must die. Yeah. Physical endurance, yeah. bravery right. and courage it's to wear these shoes. Yeah. It's not Right. And it's also a skill wearing it all day. Yes, yeah. it certainly is. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, my feet scream at me. They say, no, I'm not doing this. I can't take I'm it not doing it. <laughs> and look at Sharon's shoes today. These are my shoes. This is at leisure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And my mm -hmm. feet are very comfortable, I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the writing process. I mean, what, what is it like? It's brutal. It's yes, absolutely it's brutal. Imagine, so we spent imagine. about six months writing, honing, yeah. cutting down with the help cool. of our director, Alan yes. Swerdlow. Um, but it's, it's really a tough, tough process a to process. get to the final piece that you'll see on stage, yeah. hopefully this evening. Because yeah. Being, yeah. being a writer, you know, you want to make things matter and you want to make sure that they flow in the right way mm. and, that, and mm. that people are engaged with the material. And being an artist, you have to spur on a curiosity for your audience. Mm. So mm. the writing is, it's important. And a lot of people have said that they've enjoyed the writing quite a lot because we've varied ourselves. We've put forward our voices and our opinions right, in right. the writing. Yeah. And in a show like this, ladies, uh, how, do we, how do you measure, uh, you know, the concentration of the audience. How do you ensure that they are kept captivated throughout the show? 
Well, our clothes make sure, our yeah. clothes okay. changes make sure, and we the music. Break. And the music as well. And our, sh our show is like a steam train. Yeah. It's a it just song, keeps going. Yeah. a comedy number, a monologue. It, it just doesn't stop, yeah. so yeah. you don't have a minute to be bored. But also, we're such, we're such a wonderful team of seasoned professionals. We really try our best to sort of engage, and, and we, we connect with our audience. You have sure. to connect with the audience. Sure. You know? Definitely. Even you on television, there's a screen, but you have to connect, connect with the audience. Connect with the viewers, and if you don't, yeah, absolutely. Then they're not going to come back, or absolutely. they're not going to feel changed after that experience yeah. and i think our material is very relatable that's yes. the, the best feedback i've gotten is everyone yes. said yes i totally get feel what you way, were saying yeah. and i also feel like that yeah. and yeah. i've had that experience so yeah and i'm sure the audience will be sharing i mean will be you know basking in the glory of some of the fashion tips yes, yes. we give them quite a few <laughs> we tips do. we give them quite a few tips and we also make them feel comfortable about the things that go wrong in your wardrobe you know we don't always get it right right <laughs> yes. you can't always walk in looking so suave and wonderful sometimes you try things and it doesn't work so it's wonderful wardrobe malfunction people. absolute oh. we've had a few right yes. wow so we wow. have really we've had a few we've with all our quick changes we've had you know, zips breaking, breaking. <laughs> dresses tearing open yeah and I've the been, show must go on yes, the, show the show goes show. on <laughs> absolutely yeah so i want to ask you this what, what's your favorite uh, era of fashion or decade of fashion Sure. Well, um, as I, I do talk a lot about um, in the show that I'm obsessed with sequins. So whether they're mm. in fashion or whether mm. they're not, I yeah. wear sequins year after year. That is what makes me feel happy. It's dopamine dressing to the max. But when yeah. I wear bling, I feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, that is my favorite fashion. I, I can tell you you're happy because you're wearing yes, bling. Yes, look at it. She's blinging. <laughs> you are dazzling. I mean, even the lights here, we don't need them <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> right. <laughs> My favorite era, I can't say, that's the funny thing is that Laurie came to me with this concept and it was difficult for me to find it because I never really took an interest so much. But now mm -hmm. that I have, now that I have an appreciation for it, because as artists we have to, it's, um, I think just clothes that make you feel good, clothes yeah. that make you feel part of a group that, that have a code in them, yeah, that really yeah. interests me. Yeah. And what, what do you think uh, clothes and style do for us? As, as human beings? So for me, um, I feel like it tells the world a story about who mm. I am and your clothes are your personal billboard. And what's so lovely about the three of us is we are so different. different. We've got such different styles, such different um, vocal abilities, such different personalities. So when we come together on stage, it's really interesting. And yeah. I think each of us will appeal to a different, a different type a of different, person yeah. in the yeah. audience. Yeah. So. Yeah. And might I add that clothes are, are also a mood booster, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, the colors because you feel you good wear. when you looking good. Absolutely, absolutely. I actually read once that even the color of your underwear actually makes a difference to how you feel. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just saying, that's, that's what I'm I'm learning something every day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So be careful what you wear under there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Eh? Thank, thank you, you so for much. having and, uh, us today. Thank you, thank you. All the best. Hey. Thank you, thank all the best. Uh, please a share more details show, about the show. Yeah. So our show is showing at Theatre on the Square until yeah. the 28th of May. And if you'd like to come, you can book via Compute Ticket. Okay. Great stuff. All the best, Dave. Thank, Thank you, you. So for, for having, having us. us. All right. The Dress Code takes the audience on a journey through a diverse mix of reimagined songs and a variety of costume changes. We just spoke to producers Laurie Strauss and Sharon Wegner.